I, I used to want to be a radio DJ when I was little, but now I'm a podcaster, which is great because I don't have the voice to be a DJ. I, and by the way, being a DJ, from what I've heard from people who are DJs, it's, it sounds like it's, it's a terrible business. <laughs> so I'm very happy being a podcaster because it's more interesting than, than, than you know, being a, a general purpose radio DJ. To me, it's more interesting. Uh, it's an easier business to be in. There's no requirement that you have a great voice. I sure as heck don't, and most of the podcasts I listen to don't, don't have people with good voices. It doesn't matter. And, uh, and I get to talk about really geeky things. So I enjoy that, but I'm already doing that. And generally, anything that I want to do, you, because I've had a terrible academic history, it usually isn't things that require certifications and degrees and long schooling and everything else. It's like, well, what can I do when I have a computer? And I can make podcasts, I can make apps, I can write, so that's stuff I do, and I'm really happy doing it. Is there a job you think you would have been good at? I like arguing with people sometimes, so you might think lawyer, but in reality, I'd be a terrible lawyer because I would make a bunch of mistakes, and I would, I would, I would miss a lot of things. And so like, I, it, it, I would not be good at that. I certainly could not do any kind of medical field thing because I'm, I'm not even close to you know, meticulous and, and a good student enough to, to do that. Um, so. Not really, no. I, I occasionally think, oh, you know, it'd be fun to like have a coffee shop and sell my coffee, but then I don't want to work in a coffee shop, so well, I shouldn't own one. <laughs> so there's all sorts of things like that. Like I, I think I can, I can talk myself out of almost any other job pretty easily. Would you be a good Apple employee? Not even close. Why not? Be, well, first of all, whatever you think of Apple and their products, at heart they are still a big company. And I know I would not do well in a big company. I just know. Um, I, I don't do well doing things I don't want to do, um, being subservient to other people, playing the politics game to try to get ahead. I am terrible at all those things. Uh, and so I know I would, I would not get very far, I would be miserable, and I would probably be fired within a couple of years at most. <laughs> and and it just, I, I would be terrible at that job. Because no matter, again, no matter what you think, in order to do well at Apple, you have to do well in a big company because that's what it is. Because you're quite idealistic, right? And, and you know, I, I, you always want to change the world for the better. You know, it, it, well, the technology world for the better. Sure. Surely, the best way to change the technology world for the better would be on the inside. You know, if if I was Tim Cook, maybe I could make the kind of changes I want. But if I let's say I went to go head the podcast team at Apple, what would that really mean? I would be running a team that has to interact with the iTunes store backend, run the whole directory in addition. So you have like these different departments. You have to work with the servers team, and then you have also the podcast app now is integrated into the OS. You don't, you don't download it separately anymore. It's right there in the OS. So then you have to work on the release schedule of the OS. And so there's all these different pressures you'd have to deal with from within. The reason why the podcast app is not what I want it to be is not because there's anybody bad managing it. It's because the conditions that, that it has to deal with are not conducive to what I want. And that's on a screen called nitpicky details. Every time I do things like this, I think it's a risk, and I think maybe it'll turn off some people. And every time I do things work, but no one really notices my job. I look back on it kind of the way I look back on college. It's like, it's something, it's